Today, I'm going to show you a total game changer when it comes to ChatGPT and AI SEO. And this is one of the most powerful prompts I've ever seen that you can easily automate. And it solves a huge problem that most SEOs would struggle with and normally used to have to pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars or watch their ranking slip. So what am I talking about? If we go straight to ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas, which was obviously just released seven days ago, we're going to use an amazing prompt that you can use to basically automate internal and external links. And it's very powerful. It's way better than expected. And if we go to ChatGPT and we're like, for example, just write an article on SEO and we're going to get it to write an article about SEO, how SEO works, etc just as a placeholder so that I can show you the best ways to automate your internal links. And this is literally done in one single click. So from here, we've got the whole article, as you can see, that's ready to go. And inside the chat section over here, this is where we're going to insert a prompt, which we're going to do by going to my site. So you can just go to your sitemap at sitemap.xml after your domain, go to your sitemap, grab all the posts that you want to internally link to, or at least get ChatGPT to consider for an internal link. And then from here, we'll go into ChatGPT and we're going to say, suggest five internal links to insert into my content. And then I've pasted my sitemap, as you can see right here. And this is really raw. Like you can see, it's not even formatted, still got the date in there, still got the plus O, et cetera. But that doesn't matter because we're going to use that list of URLs to automate internal links. So we'll wait for that to load. As you can see, it's going to start editing now. And if we scroll through the content, you can see that it's automatically in one single click automated all of our internal links based on actual pages. And these are not hallucinated internal links. You can see they actually are inserted throughout the content. It's inserted the anchor text for us and it's actually inserted the internal links within the content as you can see. So for example, if we look at our link building section over here and then we look at this bullet point about link building says to learn more about our manual link building service to boost your website's authority. If we click on that link, the link actually works. It's not hallucinated. And it's basically looked through the whole sitemap, which can be hundreds of pages, right? It's a look through the sitemap, it's a look through the content and gone boom, right? We're going to insert an internal link here. We'll insert one over here. We'll insert one over here, for example. And we'll edit the content along with the anchor text to automatically insert our internal links. Now, bear in mind, I've tested pretty much all of the internal link plugins within the industry. Some of those I've paid hundreds of dollars for. There's nothing like this. I've never seen anything like this out there before. And it's just so easy to do. And again, you can see here, if we go to common SEO mistakes to avoid, it talks about neglecting internal links, of course. And then it also talks about using our SEO ROI calculator to see the potential impact of internal links on your site's performance, right? Amazing. And then at the end, here's a really cool thing. So at the end, it's even monetized the content. So it said, need help getting started? Try our free SEO consultation to kickstart your SEO journey, then rinse and repeat, right? So if we open up that link, it's a link to our free consultation page to convert that traffic that we already got into leads. And it's inserted it in probably the most relevant part of the content. And we didn't have to give it any extra instructions. Literally all I did inside this prompt right there, as you can see, if we scroll up past the sitemap, is say, suggest five internal links to insert into my content. That was it, simple as. Now I'm gonna show you another way in a second on how to automate your external links, which is a game changer and I've never shown on my channel before. So we'll come on to that in a second. But one thing I wanna cover here, because some people will be asking, is like, why would you insert internal links? You need to insert internal links. And I, was, I would say genuinely you can get away with not inserting them up to a certain point. But the problem is, it's gonna be harder and slower and more expensive for Google to crawl your website as your website expands, particularly if you're creating content with AI because you can create it at a larger, higher volume than most people can with human content, right? And this is why internal links become so important. Now, for example, if you look at a lot of these case studies, like this e-commerce one, we actually saw a 24% increase in organic traffic from internal links. You can see another one here with a retail enterprise increased their SEO traffic by 23%. These are all reference, right? These are all actual case studies. And here's the crazy thing that, that most people don't realize about internal link opportunities, right? mostly they're missed and they're missed because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time consuming, boring work that nobody wants to do. And so if you can automate it with chat GPT canvas, it solves a massive problem. For example, if you look at this case study from InLinks across 5,112 websites, 82% of all internal linking opportunities are missed. That's crazy. If you ask me, that's wild. 41% of sites didn't have a single internal link to target pages, which is just 
outrageous. I didn't even know that. That's really bad. And then only 5% of all websites reach an internal link score of 80% or higher. I don't think you need to worry about internal linking scores, but you get the point. Basically, most SEOs struggle with this and you can solve it in one single click. And you don't need to be like an SEO expert or some sort of technical SEO guru to figure this out. And you can do it instantly inside ChatGPT Canvas. Now, let me show you another game changer that you can apply for external links. And this will just solve a lot of the issues when it comes to quality control for anchor text, for websites and building out content that's actually useful. This workflow actually begins with Perplexity AI. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to say, give me links to a hundred guides and you would just insert your niche, right? So whatever topic you're writing about and need external links for inside your content, you would insert inside the prompt. So give me links to 100 guides about insert your niche and just URLs. This is quite important because you only want the raw URLs that you're going to paste into chat GPT canvas in a minute. And obviously these must not be hallucinated. Now it is important to include that. And that's why I'm using perplexity because it tends to hallucinate the least out of all the AI models that I've tried and tested for doing this. If you do this directly inside, for example, chat GPT, it'll hallucinate loads of the URLs. Probably after about number 10, all the URLs are pretty much useless, right? You don't want to be hallucinating URLs inside your external links. So we're going to use this prompt right here. We'll hit enter. It's going to search. And this is the other benefit of using perplexity is that it's actually connected to the internet. So you can like search and Google different keywords related to this topic and then find your list. Now I'm not going to guarantee that you'll actually find hundred, but I like to get perplexity to aim high so that even if it comes back with 10% of that, we're good to go because we've got enough ideas and opportunities for our external links. So if we've got a guide about SEO, we'd insert SEO here. If we had a guide about internal links, we'd insert internal links here, right? Works for any industry, any topic, any niche. And from there, what you can do is you'll see a list of external URLs over here. Now, you might just want to check that they actually work. So what you can do is you can open them up and just click and just check they actually work as you can see, but all of these are actually real external links and all of them are relevant to our topic that we're writing about, right? Which is perfect. So from here, we're going to go back into ChatGPT canvas and we're going to take this list of URLs as you can see, and then we're going to go back to our same guide where we've automated the internal links. And from here, we're going to automate the external links using a very similar prompt. So I'm going to say, suggest five external links to insert into my content. And from here, we'll hit insert like that. Very simple prompt. Typically with ChatGPT Canvas, like the prompts can be super simple and it's really easy. Now, bear in mind, if you had a bunch of affiliate links, you could probably do the same thing with affiliate links. We can also check these actually work. So you can see here, for example, where it, it's kept our internal link over here. But then it's also said to understand backlink strategies better, read Ahrefs guide. So it's even sourced the, it's actually figured out, okay, where's the link from? And then it's inserted that inside the content. Again, I've not seen any other tool that does this. And ChatGPT Canvas does it with the built-in version of ChatGPT, which is pretty amazing. Links straight to the guide, which is super useful. And it's done that throughout the content. So for example, like WebFX's step-by-step -step SEO guide, we've got the guide right here. I actually think this will be really good for, for link builders using guest posts as well. Because you can just automatically insert external or internal links inside your guest post when you build it backlinks for clients. And it's inserted the content throughout, right? Just amazing. What a time to be alive, my friends. You can automate internal and external links and it does it perfectly without any hallucinations. I can't believe that's worked so smoothly. I didn't even have to record that twice. So you can see how easy this is. Now I want to show you something else that's super useful, right? So let's say you've created this guide about SEO, but you don't want to insert your internal and external links straight away because they might not be right. They might not be the right fit. And so you want to approve them step by step before you actually insert them automatically. So what you can do is inside the chat over here, we can say based on the content, it suggests some relevant internal links with the sitemap. You, again, you can do this with external links too. So we insert the sitemap over here, but the keyword here is suggest, right? If we hit enter, it gives us the suggestions. So we don't actually insert the internal link straight away. We can manually look through the suggestions. If you prefer to like really quality control the internal links, and just link to the most relevant quality sources, right? Because I know some people don't just want to smash and dash the internal links into their content, but you can see how powerful this all is. Now, at this point, you might be saying, yeah, but I don't want to be copied and pasted and messing around with that. And that's okay. So what you can actually do is like a Google doc is you can say, insert comments inside the content for me to approve. And if you go inside the content, you can hit apply when you approve that particular change. So if we look at this one, we've got a potential internal link opportunity here. That will then rewrite the content, as you can see, with the internal link. And if we open that link up, boom, 
there's the content and it's all optimized and ready to go. And then you can just go through the rest of the content, approve it if you want it, ignore it if you don't want it. So easy and simple. And you can see all the comments alongside each paragraph. So you could be like, I want this one, but I don't want this one, so I ignore it. So there's many different ways that you can actually use these prompts. Now, what I'll do is I actually put these inside my free SEO course. So if you want to get access to all the internal link prompts, external link prompts for approval, etc., I'll put that inside my free SEO course. Link in the comments and description. This comes with over 160 SEO tutorials, SAPs, workflows, etc. And if we scroll down to the SEO quality control section over here, I'll put a new section called automate internal and external links hit save. And I think that solves a huge problem for most SEOs out there. Bear in mind, 40% of websites don't even have any internal links, which shocks me. And you can see the link to the video right there. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get more leads, traffic, sales to your website with SEO, feel free to book in a one-to-one -one SEO strategy session. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. Feel free to book that in on that free link building acceleration session. We will give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to write rank you competitors in link building, now to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.